Welcome, friends. I'm Jimmy, the Inquirer of Plots, Suspector, Sequels, and more importantly, your host this evening. Tonight's monstrous tale is Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, which came out in 1943. This was the first movie ever to cross over two major characters from their own movie. Let's see how it plays out. On the night of a full moon, we find two grave diggers unaware of the grave danger they are in. They break into the Talbot's family crypt and plan to open a coffin at Lawrence Talbot. So they remove the wolf's bane that was buried with him. As they proceed to take his ring, the now hairy hand has an ill-fated grip on the grave robbers. He cries for help as the other one runs in terror. Talbot is found by police in Cardiff later that night with a vicious head wound. He's taken to Queen's Hospital where he is treated by Dr. Mannering. Talbot begins to realize his current situation, but nobody believes him. He transforms into the Wolfman one night and even kills a policeman. The next morning, Mannering realizes his patient has been roaming about and tries to reason with him, though unable to accept Talbot's explanation of his curse into turning into a werewolf. Wanting answers, Dr. Mannering allows Inspector Owen to question Talbot, who becomes violently irritated. Dr. Mannering calls orderlies who put Talbot into a straitjacket. Not believing his story, the doctor and detective travel to a village of Lanwelly to investigate Talbot's story. The doctor receives a call from the hospital saying that Talbot escaped by biting through his restraints only with his teeth. Seeking a cure for the curse, Talbot leaves Britain and seeks a gypsy woman named Maliva. Maliva tells Talbot that Dr. Frankenstein may be able to help, so they travel to the village of Vassaria, where they learn about the fire that burned Frankenstein estate and Dr. Frankenstein with it. destroyed him and all his misdeeds. That night, an upset Talbot transforms into the Wolfman. What do you mean, don't go? He's transforming into the Wolfman. And I doubt she has any remedy for that. I mean, otherwise she would have used it on the last guy. Anyways, after a young girl was killed, the villagers raise a mob to chase him down. Fleeing from the mob, the Wolfman runs toward the ruins of the Frankenstein estate. Talbot falls through the burnt out flooring and into the frozen cellars below. Talbot recovers from his animal state and wanders around, discovering Frankenstein's monster frozen in ice. So Talbot thaws out the monster next to a fire, hoping that he'll help him in his endeavor. Finding that the monster is unable to locate the notes of the long dead doctor, Talbot seeks out My Baroness Elsa Frankenstein. Seeing that Elsa Frankenstein is selling the estate, Talbot poses as a potential buyer by the name of Taylor. Hoping she knows the location of the notes, but she declines to assist Talbot, but they are invited to the Festival of New Wine by the Burgermeister. It enrages Talbot, who at this point just wants to die. But death is alone. I don't want to live eternally. Why did you say that to me? Get away from me! Stay away! Truthfully, if I was subjected to that kind of music, I'd spaz out too. Dr. Mannering arrives. Having followed Talbot across Europe, he tries to persuade him to return to the hospital in Wales. Talbot refuses to go with Mannering, and the monster crashes the festival. With the monster revealed, Talbot and the monster leave to the ruins. Elsa and Mannering agree to help the villagers by destroying the Frankenstein monster once and for all. The next day, Elsa, Dr. Mannering, and Maliva meet with Talbot and the monster in the ruins. Dr. Mannering is instantly fascinated by the monster. Elsa leads them to the location previously checked by Talbot and pulls a lever revealing the book. Mannering studies the notes and learns how to drain all the life from both Talbot and the monster, believing the laboratory can be repaired for the gruesome task at hand. Oh no, how on earth will this movie end, Grandpa? Wow.
In the meantime, the villagers grow very suspicious, seeing crates of electronic instruments arriving for Dr. Mannering to enable the experiment. The innkeeper plans to destroy the dam overlooking the old estate with dynamite to drown all within. The burgermeister dismisses the idea, but Vaztec, the innkeeper, sets up dynamite anyways. Unfortunately, Dr. Mannering's scientific curiosity to see the monster at full strength overwhelms his logic. To Elsa's horror, he decides to fully revive the monster. The experiment takes place on the night of a full moon. Talbot transforms yet again as the monster regains his strength and eyesight. was a hair-raising tale of when two monstrous worlds collide. Will we ever see the monstrous duo again? Well, you'll just have to tune in next time. Till then!